And we're back to Cranko's Corner number five. Here we go. Here's the fifth one for Quantum Quandrix. This is my school uh, because I like math. And then I did the quiz, and it turns out I still enjoy math. So that's my guys right here. <sighs> Sorry, I had to quench it five videos in a row does this if you notice we have a big pile of confetti and that is what you get when you buy these decks yep no now i've lost that in the box okay so here we go commander last one you get two legendary foils you get this one and one other we'll show you on the back it's thick it's green it's what you get so you only get two foils in the whole thing you get of course adrix and nev twin casters this isn't a card it's not an oversized card or anything and then you get Essex, the Fractal Bloom, which everybody really likes in foil. Then you get Ruxa, the Patient Professor, and Dika, the Fractal Theorist, as your non-foil secondary legendaries. About to sneeze. It would have been cool if these were all partners. So if in each one you got, um, you know, your two foils, and then you got your two monocolored, but then they were partners. I think that would have been a nice touch um, to stick with the school so you wouldn't run a mono deck if you were to sub out. I think that just would have been neat. Uh, but, you know, here we go. Deck box, 100 cards, 17 new, double side tokens, and confetti. It, that's all I have to say. And, and I, you keep hearing that term, confetti. Well, I'm going to show you exactly why. Because when you go to open the top of it, you get a surprise from Wizards saying, Ha! Counters for confetti. Punch those out. Let them fall to the bottom. Get all your good stuff down there. And then turn around. Because they put a perforation down here that says, Hey, with one quick swipe... Somebody could steal this from anywhere. Then you look in the bottom here, and you got some things. Pull that right out. Your confetti falls out with it. You have a useless empty box. You have confetti all over the floor like I do. And you make a big pile of it. Think I'm kidding. You get nine per one, guys. You have three more on the side right here. Three more on the side right here. So, the total, so a total of nine little counters uh like i said it would have been cool if they were in the school colors but i understand printing wise why they aren't then you get this foil square token for god knows what there you go after that many you get all those pieces of confetti which you can throw at somebody after you beat them by comboing out and that's probably what i'll do i'll, I'll have all these in my hand when i combo out and just throw the confetti right at their face so here is quantum quandrix my favorite school that's why we saved them for last. I think it's really cool. The boxes are nice. You get this insert of wasted space. Toss that to the side. You get your pamphlet. You get your spin down counter, which I already said in the other videos I do not care for. I'm still not going to use these. I'm just still going to use some spin down dice or uh, an app to keep track of it. Their side is 20 through 0. At least it's in the school thing. You get a pamphlet. It teaches you how to play Commander faster than you've ever seen before. Look at that. You start a 40 life. Your Commander sits there. You win the game if you do this much damage. Yeah. That's all you get. Other side. Talks about Adrix and Ned, the Twin Casters. Talks about Dika, the Fractal Theorist. Talks about the Bears. Beat the Battlestar Galactica. Ruxa, the Patient Professor. And Essex, the Fractal Bloom. As we all know, Fractals are the mascots of Quandrix. Let me crack this bad boy open. Sleeved up probably will fit in there i would say with all that extra space you get two copies of your foily guys you get essex fractal bloom and adrix nev twin casters this basically becomes an extra copy of the card you can go make another deck out of it yes i'm serious that's probably the better use for it i'll show you why because you get an extra one then you're going to go through your deck now in the past these decks have made sense the order generally stays sorceries instance artifacts lands etc yeah, for the first chunk of it, there's absolutely no rhyme or reason to what the deck is. So we're going to show right through it. Starting off with Biomathematician, Eureka Moment, Golden Ratio, Quandrix Cultivator, and Zimone Quandrix Prodigy. Now, being as this is the fifth one, I can tell you, you do not get your student in every one. Uh, we got Rutha and Witherbloom, we got Zimone and Quandrix, but we did not get Quantorius, we did not get Killian, and we did, we did get Rutha, though, in Prismari. So three out of the five, you get your student. The other two you do not. So, lore hold, you don't get Quintorius, and you don't get Killian and Silver Quill. I think that's a terrible mistake. Given as they're going to give us a ton of repeat cards in these, they should have given us the five students. It would have gone better with theme because the students go are the ones going through school, and these professors, Watsy, you screwed up. Uh, then you go into Quandrix Campus and Study Hall. These two at least are in all of them. You get your campus and study hall. 
And then it's just a crapshoot from there. So we got Rapid Hybridization, Beast Within, Kodama's Reach, Cross and Grip, Nissa's Expedition, Rampant Growth. So you get some, some defensive, a little bit of ramp in there. Coiling Oracle. You get Incubation and Incongruity. Plax Caster, Frogling, Primal Empathy, Trigon Predator, and then you get go into artifacts randomly. Arcane Signet, Simic Signet, and Soul Ring. So you get you get a good trifecta, but you don't get this in every one. You do get Soul Ring and Arcane Signet in all of them, but you don't get Boro Signet in the Lordhold one. Apparently, that much that one card just was too much budget. And that is all the artifacts, I guess, in this whole one. I don't know. Blighted Woodland, Command Tower, you're getting all of them. Lana War Reborn, Lonely Sandbar, Myriad Landscape in the New Art, Navien, the Heart of Progress, that's pretty cool. Opal Palace, and then we're done with lands, I guess. Interesting. And then you have Commander's Insight, Curiosity Crafter, so then you're going, I guess, into all your new cards. Dika, the Fractal Theorist, of course, Perplexing Test, Replication Technique, Spawning Kraken, that's neat. Theoretical Duplication, Fractal Harness, Guardian Augmenter, Paradox Zone, Ruxa, the Patient Professor. Yeah, I mean, this, this, this has got to come out and go into other decks. Sequence Engine, Oversimplify, Geometric Nexus, that's cool. Desolation Twin, why are there Eldrazi in here? <laughs> I mean, I, I get it, it's fine, you get a 10-10 colors creature token but and then you can do sorts of fun stuff with it but why are there eldrazi in here <laughs> champion of wits crafty cut purse curse of the swine the other thing is you got the, one of the curses in the first deck and you didn't get any of the repeat curses in the other decks i kind of think that's weird reef worm right of replication yeah this this definitely belongs in here arashi the sky asunder they didn't put that in the back of the box azuri's predation that's fun Forgotten Ancient. Oh, Garak Primal Hunter. So again, you get a monocolored Planeswalker in every one. Whether or not they fit the theme, well, we'll see. Hornet Nest. Hornet Queen. So you got some insect two-card sub-theme. Hydra Broodmaster. Incubation Druid. Kazandu Tuskcaller. We have level-up cards? I haven't seen those in a while. So one random level-up card that gives you tokens. Mana Gorger Hydra, Rampaging Baloth, Return of the Wildspeaker, Shamanic Revelation, Terastodon, my god, please stop printing this, <laughs> Biomass Mutation, Casido, the Orochi Archmage, so you do get another Legendary, Master Biomancer, Spitting Image, so that's cool, you get all these extra Legendaries, you can take this thing apart if you wanted to and have some other decks. Idol of Oblivion, another random artifact in all that. It couldn't have been with the other artifacts, of course. So would we have like four artifacts, five artifacts? Then we may or may not go into lands for an extended period of time. Exotic Orchard, Lumbering Falls, Mosswort Bridge, Orin Reef, the Vastwood, Temple of Mystery, so you get a temple in all of them. Yavamaya Coast, I like this art. Rogue's Passage, you get in all of them. Simic Growth Chamber, Temple of the False Guard, you get in all of them. Then you do get some cycle lands in all of them, depending on how many. That depends. Tranquil Thicket. Okay, you get one cycle land in this one, apparently. You get Tranquil Thicket. You don't get the blue one, which is Lonely Sandbar, but you get one. Bad wizards. You should have fixed that. Then maybe we'll have four. So here's a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven forests. I'm going to guess it's eleven islands. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten. So you get eleven and ten. How odd. Definitely something we'll fix there. Then you get your thick boy commander card. Different foiling. If you can tell by the images there, it's more pronounced here in the name. This does fit into a sleeve, which is what exactly I'm going to do. Um, put it there, because this is going to end up in your command zone and tossed around. Then you get your extra copy with your Essex. Uh, and only reason I would think that you would not do this is if this ended up in your 99 and this became your commander, but chances are I'm going to play this exactly the way it is, and this becomes extra cards, so that can just kind of go somewhere else. Uh, so to me, that's what you're going to do with that. Then you have your tokens. Well, you get that thing. Copy, copy, copy. Beast, beast. From Beast Within, of course. Yeah, one worm, a cup, an insect, a hydra, a frog lizard, and an Eldrazi. Made no sense. Backside, you got Champion of Wits, Elephant, Boar, I like that with the Spartan armor. Beast, Kraken, Whale, Fish, Fractal, Fractal, Fractal. So you get all these different tokens, uh, which is neat. Um, so that's kind of fun. Yeah, that's cool. 
And that goes in the box in the back. Probably never to be used. We'll see. Of course, that is your deck of 100 ready to play. Your commander cards. And your on your turn thing that you'll never use. And your spin down and such. And it all fits in there. Nice little clicky box. So that is all five commander decks. And, uh, yeah, they're great. I think I'm ready to play with them. Um, play style-wise, I would do Quandrix first, Lower Hold. Uh, then I'd probably go with Silver Quill, Wither Bloom, and end with Prismari, because blue is not my jam generally. And so those are your five commander decks. And when you're done, you get to take all this confetti and celebrate opening all five. So... Thank you guys for coming by Karenko's Corner. I appreciate you so much. If you did enjoy this content, it really means a lot if you hit that like button. Leave us a comment with what you'd like to see. We are going to be opening lots of Strixhaven boxes. So if you're interested in doing that with us, please leave a comment below or reach out to us in the description. Uh, and we will see you next time here on Karenko's Corner.